or listening to a podcast from Glenstall Abbey. Welcome to the first in our series of podcasts on the rule of St. Benedict. I'm Father Columba McCann, and in this session I will introduce the series and the rule itself. One might ask why any normal person would want to learn about a rule written in Italy for monks in the 6th century. Most Christians are not monks and are not supposed to be. We are living in the 21st century, not the 6th, and I guess that most listeners don't live in Italy either. And yet an increasing number of people who live outside monasteries actually do look to this ancient document as a source of guidance and inspiration. Books have been written about the wisdom of this rule for such diverse things as sport, running a business or family life. The rule of St. Benedict does continue to speak across the centuries because it is a guide for living the gospel from day to day. There is a lot in the rule and we couldn't possibly cover all of it in this series. Instead, we have chosen those passages and topics that we think would be most helpful for a wide range of listeners. For example, prayer, attitudes to work, food and drink, caring for others, living as a Christian community and hospitality, just to mention some. My main task is to introduce the rule of St. Benedict to you and to do so using his own introduction, which is called the Prologue to the Rule. It's a beautifully rich presentation of what Benedict is about in his rule. And in these few minutes, I can only highlight a few things that I think might be helpful. Let's begin with a question or two. What would happen to you if you began living according to Benedict's wisdom? What would the effect be? His rule is a patchwork of quotations, advice, guidelines and regulations. What are they really about? Benedict says that it's really about love. He wants love to grow in us, and he wants to safeguard it. Isn't it true that the human heart is really made for love? And when love appears to be missing in our lives, then we begin to fall apart into addiction and destructive behaviour. When we are aware of love, we can put up with almost anything. Love is what makes us happy. Benedict says that if you walk the path he outlines, you might find it a bit demanding. It might feel as if your life has gotten narrower and less comfortable, but sooner or later you begin to blossom. He says that you will find you are no longer walking, but running joyfully on the path that God has marked out for you. And he says that your heart will be overflowing with the inexpressible delight of love. Your heart will be anything but narrow. It will expand with the unspeakable delight of love. You will begin to experience something of heaven already before you die, in preparation for experiencing it in its fullness later on. Benedict has this love in his own heart. As he begins his prologue, he says to the reader, this is advice from a father who loves you. Welcome it and faithfully put it into practice. So how do we begin the journey? St. Benedict starts his rule with an important word, listen. We need to listen to the voice of God. You are already listening to this podcast, and this means that God has already spoken to you somehow. God can speak through any person or any event in our lives if we are open. God can speak through a little child. But for Benedict, a really helpful guide for our listening is Scripture, God's Word in the Gospels, the Psalms, and the other books of the Bible. It is clear that Benedict himself listened very closely to what he heard in the Bible, because every second line of his rule has either a quotation from the Bible or an echo of a biblical idea. Benedict's mind was saturated with the Bible, and it gave him a life giving outlook on the world that saw God at work everywhere. Benedict exclaims in his prologue, what is more delightful than this voice of the Lord calling to us? Here again, Benedict is talking about the delight of love. He continues, 
see how the Lord in his love shows us the way of life. Following the teaching of Jesus, Benedict says that if we put into practice what we hear in God's word, we will be like someone who builds their house on rock, able to withstand the inevitable storms that life will throw at us. The way that Benedict traces out for us does make some demands. It does involve some effort and some self-restraint. But he is very clear that it won't be burdensome or harsh. And this is part of the appeal of his rule across the centuries. When we get fired up with religious zeal, one danger is that we make excessive demands on ourselves and on others, even harsh demands. And before long, we end up worse than we ever were. The rule of St. Benedict is renowned for its moderation and balance, which are gauged to keep us going over the long haul. So the path towards the delight of love begins and continues forever with listening for God's voice and using the Bible, listening and putting into practice. But let's include two more practical pieces of advice in this initial podcast. And these pieces of advice are already in the prologue and they can be helpful. Every time you begin a new task, Benedict says, ask God for help. That is inviting God into every situation that you live through. And I can guarantee you it makes a big difference. Listen also to what's going on in your heart. When you notice negativity or obsessive thoughts or destructive patterns, at the very outset, when they are still in their infancy, dash them against the rock. And the rock for St. Benedict is Christ. So if you ever notice that there's something that's darkening or cramping your heart, you have to spew it out in prayer to Christ. The light of Christ makes a huge difference and helps us through the shadows. So in this series, let's get ready to listen to a saint who loves us and has advice for us. It's part of the bigger picture of listening to God's voice, eagerly putting into practice what we hear. Let's invite God to get involved in each of our daily tasks. And when we find ourselves in temptation or turmoil, we can cry out immediately to Christ, who is our rock. Benedict promises that we will eventually find we are no longer walking, but running. Running along a path of delight, leading to God.